All right, so today we have my son's Chrome box here, and I'm gonna add some RAM to it. Uh, if you watched one of my other videos, I've used this RAM in my old Samsung device. I have a link to it. It's pretty cheap, two eight gig sticks. Should get up sixteen gigs. This is a Chrome box three. I'll show it more in a second. All right, now let's just switch the screen. All right, so let's do a little search. All right, so let's use Google Assistant, and we'll check to see. Uh, check installed RAM on Chrome OS. So Chrome system, I should check your stats here. You don't have to do this, I'm just using this to show you what I actually have installed here. All right, so it's on Chrome version 83. It's not enterprise, so you can see it is a Chrome box, as you can see here. All right, so I think what this is saying is I have four gigs installed and I can go up to 16 gigs. Just for shits and giggles, let's run a Geekbench. We're going to install that from the App Store. We'll run this first and see if it makes a difference uh, after updating the RAM, if it makes a better performance or not. I doubt it will, but... So yeah, I bought this for my son's birthday. Uh, Chrome Box 3. I bought it January 8, 2020. January 7, 2020. It was $294.65 is what I paid for it. I think it's down. A little cheaper now. I think it's 270. Well, it's a little more. 275. It's so looking at the Amazon page. It says it has a eighth generation Intel Celeron processor and DDR4 2400 memory. These sticks that I purchased are DDR2400. So it should be the exact correct thing. So let's run a CPU benchmark. Yeah, you can see the Intel Celeron 3865U. Let me check that Amazon page to make sure it's the right one. And it is. According to this, it will support a 4K monitor. That's pretty cool. Oh, let me check and see what I paid for the RAM. I ordered the 2.6 on April 29th. You can see how far behind it is right now, July 3rd. That's how far I am about installing things. Uh, I, I had one day shipping. $38 is what I paid for these. So between the $300 I paid for the device and the $38 for these. So for $330, you can have a Chrome box with 16 gigs of RAM. You could bump the storage up too, uh, but I'm not going to do that because on a Chrome box, the storage isn't uh, too relevant, and there is a micro SD card, so you can add more storage there if you wanted to. All right, so we got our results. So 438 for a single core, 822 for a multi-score, and you can tell, you can see the memory there, 3.75 gigs. So again, I doubt these cores will change any with the uh, bumped up memory, but it's worth a shot, just to check it out, right? Also for reference, uh, Chrome Unbox, I think is where I originally saw this. Yeah, I followed his guide and then I didn't use their link for the RAM. I think I searched for it on my own uh, using another site and then I just found the matching one on Amazon. That's where I first realized I could do this. So let's go ahead and shut down the Chrome Box. Alright, so now the Chrome Box is shut down. Alright, so here is my bridge keyboard and the mouse. Let's move these out of the way. We're not going to obviously use these during the install process. Uh, so for the Chromebox, well, all we have is an H power cord, HDMI, and Ethernet plugged in. Here's the actual Chromebox. It's a nice little device. You got USB 3.0, of course. See, you got a lot of ports back here as well. Don't try to hit my thumb with a hammer. You got your two USBs. You got your another uh, USB 3.0. The, this is where we have for the mouse, HDMI and USB-C and this will be the RAM we're going to use so technically you should be using some kind of electrostatic stuff but I'm not and I'm just going to use this little kit I got to take apart my Nintendo Switch seems to work alright on other devices so I think you pull the feet up so yeah your screws will be under here so that was not easy to get off it's pretty sticky as well basically I use this tool there we go. I don't think it matters where they go, but I'm going to try to leave them in some kind of order. So you see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of wedging this under there. Alright, so that unve unveils your screws. It's just a Phillips screwdriver. Let me use this little one. Obviously, try not to lose those. So yeah, one now, once it's 
done, this should pop right off. There'll be a little cord here that you can just slip, pop off. Yeah, so this cord just unplugs. There's no squeeze tab or anything. It's a sheet of plastic. This here is your RAM. That's your 32 gig memory. If you wanted to replace that, you could, I think, but I don't care about that. That, I believe, is a Wi-Fi cord, maybe. I don't know. To get the RAM out, you just pull this back. It pops up, and then it just shimmies right out of there, right? So you can see, it'd be the same shape. Same indentations on the side, and the same line up there. Except for this, of course, is four gigs. Now this is eight gigs a piece. So then it'll be a little line up here. You just gotta push it in, and it just slides in there. So again, just line this hole up, just dip it in there. It'll go in at a slanted up angle, and then you just gently push it down. And those little clamps will come on and connect it. So now you can see uh, I got two cords in there, right? And really, that's it. So now you'll just plug this cord back in. I'm going to get into my light here. So it plugs in real simple, like, and of course, this only goes one way. It takes that little indent there. Once it's back on, then just screw it back together. And then those will just snap back in place. There are little holes, like as a guide, but they kind of fit. Right, we'll pick up all of our tools. And we'll get everything back in here like it was. All right, let's turn it back on. Hope we work. All right, so here we should be good. Let's go ahead and just do our checks again. Scroll down here to memory. Yeah, now it shows total 16. All right, so I was wrong with that memory available, but show 16 there now. So let's run Geekbench again. All right, uh, I don't think those cores are any different. I don't really remember, honestly, but you can see my memory is now 15.5 gigs. So that was successful. Didn't make any difference on benchmarking. Uh, and essentially, currently I'm not noticing any difference in speed, but I don't use this as my son's computer. We'll see if he knows the difference. Uh, and if again, worst case scenario, I wasted 30 bucks. Thanks for checking me out. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I will highly recommend this Chrome box. Uh, I buy Chromeboxes for a lot of family members. Chromebook, I have uh, Chromebook videos up as well. I like Chromebooks, but as far as like certainly children or old people, right? Senior citizens, I have my mother. I gave her a Chromebox because uh, it's you know super easy for her to use. I gave my son obviously a Chromebox. I gave my other son a Chromebox. I gave my wife a Chromebox. I gave my in-laws a Chromebox because they're cheap, uh, they're easy to set up, and they work pretty much without error. I mean, eventually they'll run out of support, but they last a long time. And for that $300, you're getting a lot of life out of it. Now for him, we're going to try to learn some programming on it. We'll see if that works. And we'll use some uh, Google Stadia on it. If GeForce Now ever comes around, we'll do that as well. So we'll see if this RAM helps any in the long term. No one's ever like, oh shit, I got too much RAM. So it's always a pretty good thing to have. So, All right, thanks for checking us out. Uh, give me a sub. We'll have more videos like this. Again, I got that idea from Chrome Unbox, but the videos are really short, and usually when you see these people that just blow through shit real quick, me, I'm like, how the fuck they do that? So I like to go more detail, and I cuss a lot, so that's pretty cool. Everybody knows cussing's cool. All right, thanks for checking me out. Uh, leave me a comment, ask me any questions, and I'll give you my feedback on anything you want to know. Well, I guess most things you want to know. All right, thanks for checking me out. Later. Later.